It is a welterweight matchup between Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Damian Maia. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop him. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Damian Maia! And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 33 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles do Bronx Oliveira! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to the and not fight. Brazil, this place is total chaos when it comes to mixed martial arts, and we expect a lot of volume in this arena tonight, Shane. It's crazy to take in this environment. The crowd is going crazy. The fighters are drawing inspiration from them. It's a big moment for every Brazilian fighter that hits the curtain. They are propelled by these fans. Oh, is he an active pursuer of the submission? There you go. Somehow stays in the fight. 
All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to him. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop him. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Maya's pass is denied. Now it's his mouth. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Attack an arm bar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Submission defense there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 60 seconds now to go in the fight. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, the ground and pound is there. He's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Folks, here we go, round two. Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Damian Mark. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful punch. Right hand, then a left. 
DC, didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh, wow. Oh! Now he falls back into the finishing position. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Under three minutes now remain in round two. Side control now. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's gonna tag armbar here. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. is really remarkable to watch. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Good, solid strike on the ground. 15 seconds. All right, that's the end of round number two.
All right, no telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Great punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? Throws the right hand there. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Maya. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Maya. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Maya's has got full mount now. I mean, how many can he take? Back mount now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Relentless pressure from the top by Maya. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Maya. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. And attack an armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Not tapping out tonight. Because all these numbers are official, but they look right to me. 135. Total strikes have now found the target for Damian Maia. Well, and more often than not, when it's been thrown, it has landed a 73% accuracy rate against Charles Oliver. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Maya. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Oliveira. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax let's here. Go, let's go, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his Another opponent. Left and right. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits his double leg. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oliveira is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense.
Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Nice hammer fist. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Maya. And he landed the right hand there. Oliveira's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, DC, here we go with our next Are round, you? and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of his fight. What a punch. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Oliveira. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. So Charles Oliveira going submission hunting here again, DC. He trains out a few, and this might just be a matter of time. He somehow stays in the fight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try... Maya's going for the sub here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the mountain, just go for the finish. Oliveira, grounded pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Close guard. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, that'll work. The grounded pound strike is good. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Oliveira. Maya's now trying for the Kimura. And oh! And the turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away. And Oliveira's trying for a submission here. Gotta be careful, Orbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. It's in there deep. There you go. The sheer will is, is really remarkable.
remarkable to watch. Maya's pass attempt denied. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Oliveira. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Pretty good elbow there to the body by Oliveira. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes it tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh! And the turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. into that kick. Overhand punch to the head, blocked though by Oliveira. Good stick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, Jab, right hand, hooks, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. That's a big strike right there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, perfect head kick there. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. What a display of mixed martial arts there, DC. A beautiful combination, ultimate. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh! Oh, now he's in trouble. Tonight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe... Maya's trying to lock up on a submission now. Attacking armbar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. Oh, big left hand there. Maya's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Big body shot. You can see it starting to take an effect on his opponent. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Maya. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice right hand, John. Thought he's gonna attack a triangle choke here. Oh! Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you 
with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. 90 seconds remain in the fight. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, has the guard closed here. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Maya. Watch right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Oliveira. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Oliveira. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision the judges score the contest 48 47 49 46 and 49 46 for the winner by unanimous decision Demian Maya! all right so the judges are in agreement tonight he is your winner by unanimous decision certainly Pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight, and he won it in dominant fashion.